For today's video, we will answer a geometry challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. An equilateral triangle PQR with a side net of two units is inside another equilateral triangle ABC with a side length of six units, such that corresponding sides are parallel. Now, from the vertex P, Q, and R, let's draw a perpendicular line directly to the side of the large equilateral triangle ABC. Now, let's call them X, Y, and Z. Now, the question is, what is the value of X plus Y plus Z? Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. All right, so given this figure, an equilateral triangle P, Q, and R is inside another equilateral triangle ABC such that corresponding sides are parallel. Now, to answer this question, we will use one theorem. But before that, let's focus first on this point P, like this. Now, what we're going to do is to use the given that corresponding sides are parallel. So we will use this concept to solve this kind of question. Now what we're going to do is to move this y, this segment y, directly to point P like this. Also, we will move this segment C directly below point P. Next, what we're going to do is to extend this segment C like this. Now, this extra segment right here, we will call this as N. Now, here is the theorem that we need to use to answer this kind of question. Let's introduce the Bibiani's theorem. Now, Bibiani's theorem states that for any interior point P, the sum of the lengths S, U, and T, here we go, which is U, this is S, and this is T, must be equal to the height of the equilateral triangle. So this ABC must be an equilateral triangle. All right. Now, since we're given an equilateral triangle, so Bibiani's theorem is applicable to this kind of problem. Now, using Bibiani's theorem, we can say that the sum of X plus Y plus the sum of N and Z must be equal to the height of this big equilateral triangle having a side length of six units. So we can say that should be x plus y plus z, this is what we want, plus n must be equal to h, which is the height of this large equilateral triangle. So now what we're going to do is to find out what is the value of this n and what is the value of this h. So let's do that. So let's start first solving the value of this n. Now, let's draw the height of this equilateral triangle like this. And take note, this angle right here must be equal to 60 degrees. And now, using the concept of 30, 60, 90 right triangle, because we know this angle right here is 30 degrees. So using the concept of 30, 60, 90, we can say that this side length opposite of 30 degrees must be equal to half of the hypotenuse, which is 1. And the side length that is opposite to 60 degrees must be equal to 1 multiplied by the square root of 3, or simply square root of 3. And that is the value of this variable, n. Alright, so this is square root of 3. So in our equation, x plus y plus z plus n, this n becomes square root of 3 also. Now, what we're going to do is to just find out what is the value of h or the height of this big equilateral triangle. So let's do that. Take note that all equilateral triangles are similar to each other. So what we're going to do is to multiply all of this side by a common factor. So the question is, what number we need to multiply by 2 to make side length equal to 6? And that's very simple. Just multiply these two by a factor of 3. So let's multiply all of this side length by 3. Now, 2 times 3, this will give us 6, of course. 1 times 3 right here, this will give us 3. And what we want is the height. So 3 times square root of 3, this will give us 3 square root of 3. And that is the height of this big equilateral triangle. 
Also, this is the value of this variable, h. So our equation now becomes x plus y plus z plus square root of 3 equals 3 times square root of 3. Now, what we're going to do is to just find out the values of x plus y plus z. So let's subtract square root of 3 on both sides. Now, if we do that, we get this square root of 3 and negative square root of 3 cancel out. 3 times square root of 3 minus square root of 3, this will give us 2 times square root of 3. And that is the value of x plus y plus c. Therefore, our answer to this question, given this figure, the sum of x plus y plus z must be 2 times square root of 3 units. And as always, we are done.